Inside the great hall of the people, there is order in every way, from how the tea is poured to the way delegates clap. With Xi Jinping set to make history here, extending rule that is now open-ended. His goal, he says, a great rejuvenation to transform China into what he calls a modern socialist country. For the past decade, Xi Jinping has purged party corruption while modernizing the military and overseeing the economic engine of a rising China. This party is trying to have a better, uh, uh, more uh, down-to-earth approach and uh, uh, trying to really uh, get country into a more uh, a new direction. Xi has centralized power around him in a way not seen here since Mao Zedong. It's the party showcase of the last 10 years with one man at the center of it all. An era that planted a Chinese flag on the moon, propped up the rural poor, and made the doctrine known as Xi Jinping thought standard learning in schools. Our great country's developments are inspiring, she says. But beyond the curated displays, there are cracks here, big ones, in a slowing economy where prosperity is no longer guaranteed. One in five young people here now unemployed. There is mass surveillance, mass internment, censorship has stiffened, and zero tolerance COVID rules control every move. Even to cover the Congress required journalists to do quarantines and multiple COVID tests. Globally, China's diplomacy is fraying over Taiwan, with President Biden suggesting the U.S. would defend the self-governed island against a potential attack from China. Uh, we would not uh, let it go uh, unchecked. What does that mean? That means uh, if uh, this kind of trend goes on, I would see at the very end uh, a very dangerous uh, situation of a military conflict. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Beijing. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.